Oh, hey guys, what's going on? It's in the gym with Team Massive Joes. Training some chest, baby, at our preferred fitness facility in the ADL. It is, of course, World Gym Norwood. Training with the brother in iron. Big Nevos. What up? Just warming up the peck, shaking the shaker there, what, mate. What a peck jiggle. <laughs> With a special guest, Gen Tech National Sales Manager, PNBA Pro Natural Bodybuilder, Pro Mr. World Winner, Pro Mr. Olympia Contender, Tim Martin. Only nine weeks out, I believe you said. Yeah, he's getting, well, he's doing the, the uh, PNBA Pro Olympia in the US, I believe it's Las Vegas this year, yeah. uh, in November. So he's, he's, he's deep in contest prep at he the is. moment. Starting this workout off, warming up the rotators, of course, man. Yep. I, I like that we've been showing some of our warm ups in the uh, recent issues of In the Gym, episodes of In the Gym. Yeah. Because it shows that we don't just go in and, you know, bench that lightweight, like bags of feathers yeah. without, you know, taking precautions first. See, Tim has a terrific powerlifting bench there, or well, terrific bench press technique. Tim is just, just terrific, or he's a f Pro natural bodybuilder, man. No, no, he's a pro Mr. World winner. Of course yeah. he's got good technique. You but want to point out any other obvious things, Mr. Obvious? No, it's better than my technique. Starting this workout off with Big Neve Movements, top secret strength program, of course. We're working on 531, I believe. Yep. Did we hit 531s or was, did we no, hit this threes? Was, this was just fives today, man. Oh, it was fives. So no, you guys did fives, I did the 531s. No, you didn't. You because did what you do for five reps, I do for one rep. So this was uh, 155 kilos, <laughs> which is what, how many is that? 350? It's a lot of pounds, man. And know. look how easy Big Neve is pushing. It's like it's not even there. This, you I'm, know, it pisses me off. I'll be honest. This was a you know what? <laughs> can take your microphone off and get out. <laughs> <laughs> that was a PB for me in terms of uh, repage as well. Yeah, no, it was phenomenal. And here's me with my measly 130? That's not you, one... that's Tim. Oh, f no, that's Tim. <laughs> <laughs> you wow. Which one you want. Well, this like... is awkward. <laughs> 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 oh, same, paste, same pasty white skin. <laughs> same pro natural physique. <laughs> <laughs> what the f? Maybe I should take my mic off again. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so um, the second exercise we did the incline hamstring, thought we thought what we'd do is put uh, your new bands that you just bought. Yeah, bands that make her dance. Around the machine. So as you can tell, it's, it's quite easy, well it's not easy, but it's lighter from the chest and then as yeah. soon as you lock out, once the bands obviously take tension. Well, you're using, the, I'm just going to take a second just to explain why you use bands. So when, you, when you're using bands like this, you're using elastic resistance. So elastic resistance is different to, you, you know, your standard gravitational resistance in that it increases as you push against the elasticity. Yeah. So when you're using it on an exercise like this, it starts off, there's very uh, low resistance at the bottom, just pretty much the weights with a little bit of elastic resistance. And then as you push up, it actually gets harder and harder as you push through that rep. Yeah. So a fantastic way to, uh, to mix up your training a little bit. Yeah. And it really forces you to power from the bottom of the rep all the way through. Which is what I've been doing and uh, I was talking to you about is I've been doing a lot of rep tempo stuff. Yes, you so have. More focusing on exploding out the rep. Yep. Focusing on that squeeze at the top, yeah, and then a slow negative, and then the super slow on the way back yeah. down. And powerlifters use bands quite a lot, don't yeah, they? Bands, when, if chains. you've got like sticking points that you're trying to push through, yeah, you know, using bands to help you push through those points is a fantastic way of uh, of, of pushing through sticking points well, and it's plateaus. A, it's definitely like, obviously you see it here it's harder in the lockout phase, so it's going to help someone with the lockout. Yeah, depending on where you where you have the bands, a lot of people are obviously using for deadlifts. You can yeah, use, you can use it pretty much on any machine as we as you see we've just hooked it onto here. Yeah, absolutely. But, you can, but it's very easy. And the main movements people use it for, that I usually use it for is yeah, bands uh, with bench or deadlifts. Yeah. And so we hit middle chest with the bench, we hit upper chest with the hammer strength incline, and now we're moving on to that lower chest baby with a, a decline barbell bench. Yeah, two plates. What's this, 220? Yeah, yeah. 100 kgs, baby. You've got about 12, 12 reps there or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, here's the big hose. Oh, finally. Halfway through the video Wait, makes, you, a, makes a cameo. Wait, are you the one spotting or the one benching? I'm not sure. But you're, you're a new level Mate, of white. Mate, I wish I had pipes like Tim. You're a new level of white here. Yeah, I know. Look at me. 
That's just phenomenal, Look isn't it? It's like, it's like, I'm like transparent. I, take a second okay. everyone to admire Tim's pipes, though. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Because look, they've they've got a they've got a he's got the sleeveless hoodie on now. Yeah, the bust pipe, the pipes out. They've, they've they're about to burst. Yeah, yeah, they have. Oh, big knee. I wonder. This was three plates. I'll be honest, uh, before, Mate, before you go watch this, you not, had your Wheaties this morning. Not the best. Uh, not the best reps or the. Uh, I was hoping for sick reps, but got nowhere near. Yeah, but mate, like it's not only is it impressive in its own right; it's the third exercise in. I was I was you're quite exhausted. Ball, after you're the... balls deep in this workout. You've just benched 155 for reps, hit the incline band, and now you're about to press 140 on the decline. It did. It did feel alright, but is your is your chest like it's still growing? Isn't yeah, it? Because your your like benching strength continues to go up. Well, it's the plan. We're, it's the program we're doing. But it's phenomenal. It's, it's, uh, Can impression. I borrow some chest, please? Your chest is actually growing. It has, you. but not as much as yours. Yeah. I'm still nowhere near your level. I have to breastfeed <laughs> seven kids. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we did the uh, the French drop set on this final working set of what, decline what bench. French? It's the double. Oh, double. <laughs> the double drop set. Okay. <laughs> you drop once, you drop twice. The double. Why, why isn't it the Irish one? Because it's French, mate. Why isn't it Irish? It's not f***ing Irish. Dublin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. And just wrapping out here. <laughs> this was actually, it was a bit of a different workout for us because we kind of followed Tim's lead a little bit, being the uh, guest athlete in this, uh, this chess workout. Usually, you guys would know we do Team Massive Joe's extended hypertrophy or Team Massive Joe's standard hypertrophy. Tim just kind of does sets yeah. for however many reps. And then just decides, yep, next exercise. Kind of trains by feel a little bit more, doesn't he? Not as structured as, as us. Well, he does um, recomp. Yes. You want to explain that a little bit? I really, I, well, it's more to do with uh, current overload progression, isn't it? It is. So yeah. It works out, yeah. Your, works out your current one rep max for most exercises. Yeah. And then from then on, it was very similar to what we're doing in terms of bench press, but it's yeah, more, yeah. I think it's more structured. I Across think. all exercises. Across all exercises. Yeah. So yeah. You have a, a, set, a certain weight and rep range to make sure that you're progressing each week, which yeah. I think is a terrific way to train. Yeah, oh, most definitely. Because you currently, every week, you're progressing either obviously in reps or weight or... Well, progressive overload yeah. is the name of the game, really, when it you is. break it down. It is. So then we moved on from the uh, pressing movements. We moved on to the flying type movements, starting with the pec deck. And have a look at the rep tempo. You discussed rep tempo earlier in this workout. Yeah. This was an exercise where we really focused on rep tempo. So really explosive up, squeeze at the top, making the most of that constant tension, and then really slow on the way down. There's a lot of things that you can tell that Tim's obviously been training for a long time. Is, yeah. is just the muscle density he holds. Well, the muscle density and the mind-muscle connection yeah. is, you know, that's the sort of thing that, you know, you, 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 it takes time but even compared, to develop that. Even compared to you and I, though. Oh, 100%. The, the, the thickness through his, like, through his biceps, the thickness through his, oh. his forearms. Oh. Just uh, everything. Uh, you can tell that there's been a lot of years under the iron, really. Oh, 100%. And I'm not actually sure how old Tim is, but I'd say he's probably got, like, five years on me, would you say? I, I'm not good I'm at not age. sure. I'm not good at yeah. age. I don't know. Must be taking NR, <laughs> aging backwards, Benjamin Button style. I'm like me, I'm like me Benjamin Glutton. <laughs> other, other, uh, other interesting thing about Tim, we were chatting about how his, because I'm obviously in contest prep at the moment, <coughs> at the, I'm uh, eight weeks out shooting this video, and Tim's a couple of weeks further out than I am, doing no cardio, Big Neef. Yeah. <coughs> oh god, my throat, my voice is gone. Doing, um, doing the uh, the old no cardio prep. Yeah, well as, as you, At this stage at least. As you two were mentioning. Yeah. You do a lot of cardio. I do a lot. Like twice a day you're at the moment. Yes, much, correct. Because you like to keep your calories a lot higher. That's You'd right. You'd rather eat more food and do more cardio. That's right. Whereas Tim's the opposite. He'd rather, well, obviously he can still eat a lot of food, but yeah. the thing is... Reduce eat. caloric output and also reduce caloric input. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, obviously... There's more than one way to skin a cat, is yeah. that what I'm saying? Yeah, you can use that saying if you like, me. Really. I've never skinned a cat. So <laughs> I've also never dieted, so I don't know. <laughs> you really are a fish out of water in this conversation, aren't you, big mate? Get back to the workout. <laughs> Please. Lift heavy shit. <laughs> <laughs> I just know how to move weights from point A to point B. That's it, man. That's it. So we hit, uh, we actually did go Team Massive Joe's extended hypertrophy on this uh, particular exercise, this here, pec deck. So you can see me right here in the middle of the French drop set, the final, fifth and final working set on this pec deck, baby. The way that you can't see because you're so 
white. I'm phenomenally white at the moment. Yeah. I must have some f***ing kind of skin pigment disease. You I should reckon. have got a tan, but the thing that I can tell from training with you for a few years now yeah. is that your upper chest starts getting very striated. It does. And that's how I can tell that you're actually on, uh, track. on track. Yeah, yeah. If the, if the chest wasn't striated at this point, you'd probably have your concerns. Yeah, <laughs> but it's coming through very striated at the top. I just wish you could actually see it in this light, as I said. Yeah, I know. I need to, I need to do something. Well, it's a mixture of poor lighting. Yeah. No, the, the lighting in World Gym is actually quite good now because they installed the new fluorescence. Yeah. Yeah. But you're just very white. Anyway, finish this workout off with one of our favorite flying type movements, constant tension. Once again, the cable crossovers at just above shoulder height, Big Neve. And let's just see how many members of TMJ you can actually pick out in the background. Yeah, play like Where's Wally, but so play big, like Where's TMJ. There's Big Nas, there's Gas. Oh, there's Gas in the background. There's Bosch Josh. Yeah. So uh, that's three of them already, mate. Yeah, I know. There's a TMJ gym, that's what it is. Look, and then there's, oh no, that's the three of us again. And once again, the form on, uh, on Tim is just phenomenal. Yeah. Very, very impressive. I really enjoy training with, with guys of, uh, of Tim's caliber. And most of, my, let's be honest, most of the Gentech uh, athletes and reps are of Tim's caliber. Oh, I don't, Phenomenal athletes. I don't want to... Um, phenomenal supplements, by the way. Links in the description box. I'm not going to knock any companies at all, but Gentech yeah. probably has the highest caliber of athletes out of any company in Australia. Definitely, oh. by, by a country mile. I you want to name a few? Apart uh, from Tim? We got Joel Remintis, yeah. Nathan Wallace. Ben Wortley. The list goes on. Fuck. Where oh, are we don't, coming? Forget, don't forget Nick Jones himself. Oh, the owner. <laughs> multiple world champion. We've completely overrun the video. <laughs> don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, man. Stay up to date with all the latest editions of In The Gym with Team Massive Joes and all the other deliciousness in our YouTube channel. If you're watching on the mobile, big knee. Hit the notifications button. So you don't miss a beat. Where we come to and from, man? Massivejays.com. Stay massive.